All right, it's Paul Slack, it's Good News Planet, and I'm speaking to Jordan Urbeck. Hi, Jordan. Good morning. How are you? I'm fantastic. How are you doing? Good. We're going to talk about nice things here today. We're going to be talking about Huggable Heroes. We're going to be talking about Build-A-Bear Workshop. And Jordan is a 2010 Jefferson Awards National Director. Well, what is the Jefferson Awards? Well, the, uh, the Jefferson Awards is uh, one of America's most prestigious public service institutions. We were founded... Uh, back in 1972 by Jackie Kennedy, uh, Senator Robert Taft Jr., and Sam Beard. And, uh, you know, this is exciting for me because I'm both a Huggable Hero alumnus and the current National Director of the Jefferson Awards. And because it is the 10th birthday of the Build-A-Bear Workshop Huggable Heroes program, they've decided to collaborate with the Jefferson Awards, and I get to uh, work with all my friends over at Build-A-Bear Workshop again this year. Um, you know, the Huggable Heroes program has been going on for 10 years now, recognizing uh, young people in the community doing extraordinary things aged 8 to 18. The idea being that we're going to be uh, trying to incentivize uh, public service and volunteerism uh, here in America. And uh, this year, you know, there's always a wonderful prize for being a Huggable Hero. It's always a $10,000 prize. You get to come down to St. Louis and meet the other, other Huggable Heroes, uh, et cetera. But this year, because the... Uh, relationship with the Jefferson Awards, uh, every Huggable Hero is also going to be getting a full year of mentoring and training through the uh, Jefferson Awards Globe Changers program. So this is an exciting year for us. Wow. Congratulations. It's all good. A lot of nice things. So give me an example of something that a, uh, a Huggable Hero will have done. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, what, what, what kind of a public service outreach are we talking about? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, Huggable Heroes uh, can do almost anything. Um, you know, there are Huggable Heroes that have launched toy drives, collected supplies for underserved children, um, provided relief to victims of natural disasters, and even sent care packages and calling cards to our uh, soldiers serving overseas. Um, you know, in particular, I have a, a close friend and colleague who's also a, a Huggable Hero from 2009. Talia Laman uh, founded Random Kid, which is an organization that empowers kids to directly impact global and local needs by working together for common goals like funding water pumps, building schools, and providing medical care. So, you know, Huggable Heroes run the gamut. And, uh, you know, I, I want to encourage the, the people that are out there. You know, our nomination period has just opened up. That's very exciting for us. Uh, it's open until February 28th. And uh, if you are a young person doing something extraordinary or if you know somebody in your community that is, we encourage you to go on buildabear.com slash Huggable Heroes and nominate them so that we can find out about them and give them this extraordinary opportunity. Again, it's not just the $10,000, but it's also the uh, – the grant for the uh, Globe Changers training through the Jefferson Awards and, uh, you know, getting into that community, which is, uh, you know, a huge boon. We're hoping to return these kids to their communities better than we found them and really help them uh, uh, dive deeper into whatever public service is, uh, is uh, you know, got them to be a huggable hero in the first place. Uh -huh. Are you able to speak? And I think we've been doing interviews with Bill DeBear since uh, I didn't even interviewed the founder uh, <laughs> 10 years Maxine. ago. Maxine, she's wonderful, yes. Yeah. T uh, tell our audience, are you able to speak about them? Or what do they do? I know they have uh, locations in, uh, all around. Uh, can you talk a little bit about who they are? Of course. No, Build-A-Bear is wonderful. If you're a parent, you know what Build-A-Bear is because you've gone to the mall and your kid has dragged you in there and you, you've you ended up having just as much fun as they have and you're, you've made 10 bears by the time you've left. At least that's usually my experience. Um, Build-A-Bear is sort of an interactive retail experience, if that makes sense. You go in and uh, you select the type of bear you'd like to make. There are a lot of bears um, that support a good cause. For example, some bears will uh, you know, support the World Wildlife Fund, the WWF, etc. And there's bears and dogs and all sorts of furry friends. And you take your furry friend and you, know, you put a heart in it, you stuff it, you, you know, dress it up in you know, the clothing that you want it to wear, and then uh, you get all sorts of accessories for it. And you bring it up to the uh, the counter, and you you take home your furry friend in a uh, in a little uh, pet carrier. So it, it really is a fun experience in the store. What's cool about Build a Bear Workshop is how committed they are to 
uh, you know, community involvement. I've never seen another for-profit organization like this between Huggable Heroes and their uh, collaborations with groups like Toys for Tots through Stuffed with Hugs. I mean, it's really, really extraordinary commitment. And I think that's a, a lot because of the drive of um, the founder, Maxine Clark, who you, who you uh, spoke to years ago. All right, Jordan, and yourself, what brought you into, let's say, public service or are doing good? Why, how, how, how did that come about for you? Sure. Well, I was seven years old, and uh, I founded an organization called Children Helping Children, and we started out uh, doing a lot of music therapy. I'm a violinist. And then uh, we did benefit concerts, and now uh, we're on three continents in seven countries. We've raised over $5 million, and uh, we're a major fundraising arm for the international medical community uh, by putting on what we call Concerts for a Cure. Wow. What is your website? Uh, my website is uh, www.jordanurbach.com. It's uh, J-O-U-R-D-A-N-U-R-B-A-C-H. And the website to nominate Huggable Heroes is www.buildabear.com slash Huggable Heroes. Uh, this is beautiful. Jordan, is there anything else we should be sharing with our community? I with February 28th uh, is, the, is the date. Um, yeah, anything else we should share with our community right now, Jordan? I just want to emphasize to people, please don't underestimate what you've done. It, I promise that if you're you know, working inside your community, you're doing something extraordinary, and uh, you can nominate yourself um, if you're older than eight years old, or you know, please think about other people that you want to nominate. Uh, we would love to have some, some great uh, Huggable Hero nominations from ne here, near you, and you, know, you never know, three months from now you might be uh, down in St. Louis. So, uh, oh, uh, sorry, let me ask you to say, over eight and how old? Eight to eighteen can uh, eight to eight to eighteen can be a huggable hero, and anybody older than eight can nominate one. Okay, and you say St. Louis is that the headquarters for Build a Bear? That is the World Bear Quarters of Build a Bear Workshop. <laughs> I love it. Okay, Jordan, thank you very much for sharing good news. Last question: What's good news for you? Uh, good news for me is we are seeing amazing nominations come in for the uh, 2013 Huggable Heroes, and um, hopefully good news tomorrow is going to be the same thing. Beautiful. Thank you so much for doing the good things you're doing, and I appreciate the opportunity to speak with you. Likewise. Take care. Have a great day. Ciao. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.